So let me ask you this, universe. Do you ever, like, wake up one day and just scroll through your news feed to see, you know, what's going on, and then see the one thing you were never expecting just to suddenly be out there? This is one of those times. So, yes, um, ladies and gentlemen, you are reading that right. Dark Horse and, uh, and uh, Archie Comics are back together to do another Archie vs. Predator. Yes, Archie vs. Predator 2. AVP 2. Not that AVP 2, because that was garbage. So, yeah. I, wow. Was anyone expecting this? Was, like, anyone thinking this was going to be a thing? Because I didn't, and how that comic ended kind of ended in a way where it was like, you couldn't really do a sequel. But the, uh, the writer of the comic, who was the same one as, um... The previous com as the previous comic, Alex DeCampi, she said that she has found a way to do a sequel and also kind of poke fun at the current industry. So yeah. So this comic will be five issues long as opposed to the previous one, which was I think about three, four issues long. So yeah, like I said, it's pretty hard. I'm really curious to see how they'll do a, a, a Archie vs. Predator 2 comic, because the other one, and I'm spoiling this, so be warned, um... Because the comic's been out for four years, might as well, you know, if you haven't read it already, then I don't know what to tell you. So, the comic is pretty much, the comic ends with uh, with the Predator showing up in Riverdale, killing everybody, including Archie, and the only two who survived were Betty and Veronica, and also, um, the Predator also was wounded, but uh, Betty used a machine because she lost her mind, and... Uh, basically what happened is she used a machine to turn the Predator into a new Archie for her and Veronica to share. Yeah. Let that sink in for a minute. <laughs> That's how the co original comic ended. I shit you not. So, yeah. So, I guess the Archie that we're going to see in this comic is gonna be, like, a Predator Archie? Yeah. I, I don't know what to tell you. It's kind of funny. But like I said, um, the main thing is that we're going to have more Predators, and it even looks like we might even get... And But then again, this was just a cover, so, you know, take that as you will, because covers don't always uh, give away the main book. But it might look like we might get some, uh, pre uh, some uh, Super Predators from pr the movie Predators, which we haven't seen in continuity since the Predator Dark Horse... The comic continuity, excuse me. Um, we haven't seen them since... Um, the Predator, since the Predator comics um, that promoted, well, Predator. So it'd be kind of cool if, again, if that co that cover's telling the truth, to actually have them and see them in action. That'd be really fucking cool. Um, the other thing that I'd like to bring up is that this comic is, like I said, going to be kind of poking fun at the indus at all industries, which is fine. I mean, the industry could use a, you know, a little poking fun at. But I'm wondering of how they're going to do that, because... They said they're going to, like, make fun of the original Predator. They're going to have some fun with the original Predator films, as well as the original Archie continuity. Because uh, um, the writer, DeCampi, uh, Alex DeCampi, said that the Archie comics were getting rebooted by Mark Wade at the same time she was doing the Archie versus the first Archie versus Predator comic. So she's kind of having fun with it here. I'm fine with that. And also we have the artist from um, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina as well as um, the artist for Afterlife with Archie doing some, stu uh, the, it, doing some stuff in here, too. So, I'm really cool with this. I think it's going to be really cool. They said they're going to, like, intercede with um, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina and a Afterlife of Archie. This comic just sounds insane. The more um, DeCampi and the other artists who were working with her basically kept talking about this, I was like, Jesus... This comic is just going to be batshit insane. But there's, like, no other way you can go but up, right? After, um, doing Archie vs. Predator the first time around, right? There's, like, no other way to get around it when you do Archie vs. Predator, uh, you know, the first time around. How do you top that? I know! Let's, do, let's throw shit at the wall and see what sticks! That's what we're getting here, people. That is exactly what we're getting here. Also, it looks like, um... They didn't get any... I guess they're doing this comic and Disney isn't stopping Dark Horse. I guess they're not stopping them. 
Um, and they're still doing Predator comics for the foreseeable time. But again, remember when they did uh, Conan versus, I mean, not Conan versus, Conan Wonder Woman crossover with, Dark, with DC? And then while the comic had, was still going on, they announced that, you know, they weren't going to do Conan the Barbarian anymore and it was going to go back to Marvel. So, yeah, could, I don't know. Like they, like, they haven't said anything. Marvel hasn't said anything. Disney's not saying anything right now. But you never know. I personally want Dark Horse to keep Alien and Predator because that's the only home Alien and Predator and subsequently Prometheus have ever known. That's the only place that they've ever been, so I'd prefer it if they stayed there, you know, so the co you know they can be as graphic and gory as they want to be. That's, you know, that's my thing, is just let them, yeah, Marvel, I mean, if, yeah, Disney, you're already letting, you know, Dark Horse do um, Incredibles comics for them, yeah. Uh, the, they're do Dark Horse is doing Incredibles comics, so maybe they're being cool about it and letting... Alien and Predator, and like I said, and for a smaller point, Prometheus stay there. I don't want them to move to Marvel because, well, I think Marvel could do a good job if they give them the right writers, like Donny Cates doing Alien, that would be awesome, or Jason Aaron doing Predator. Again, that's another good, really good pick. I would prefer them to stay at Dark Horse because they helped build, the, along with Star Wars and subsequently Conan the Barbarian, they helped build that, uh, you know, the Dark Horse license. So, that would be my thing. But getting back to this, this sounds really cool. It's coming out in July, so, you know, we only got a few more months to wait. So you guys tell us in the comments below, what do you guys think of Archie vs. Predator 2? Are you guys excited? Or are you guys not? Um, how, what, how insane, like, scale of 1 to 10, how insane do you think this comic is going to be? Just comment below, let us know. I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.